want to show you how to do some dodging and burning to make this print more exciting. I demonstrated how to stretch this image into a larger canvas size to create this pano in the previous video. Again, you can find the original image in the link in the description or from the course download folder. Once you have this image open, come over to your dodge and burn tools, which are right here. This area is from traditional film enlargers. When you dodge something, you prevented light from hitting the print, which made it lighter. If you're burning something, you gave extra light to the print to make that area darker. So I want to make the foreground a little lighter. So I'm going to choose dodge. Now the really great thing about digital is I can choose where it's affecting the shadows, the midtones, the highlights. I can adjust the exposure, how intense of a dodge I'm doing. And I'm gonna leave it at 40%, which is pretty heavy handed. And I left protect tones check. Cause I just thought like this foreground was a touch Touch muddy, maybe this area. Now I can click on this side and hold down the shift key and click on this side and it dodge a straight line all the way across. Do the same up here if I wanna reduce that vignetting that was there. Maybe I'll do that at a couple of clicks right here just to make that little area brighter. Now maybe I made this part right here a little too bright. So I'd come back over to the burn tool. Still leave it on midtones and change my exposure to maybe 30% and I'm dragging with scrubby sliders. You can actually come and just use a disclosure triangle and drag this slider or anything that has something that's adjustable in percentages. You can just hover over the word and your cursor will change into this little hand and pointer, which is called a scrubby slider. And I can just grab and drag here. So I'm gonna drag that down to around 30%. If you need your brush bigger, you can choose this disclosure triangle and make the size bigger by dragging. Now the disadvantage here is I can't tell how big my brush is right now. I have to come all the way over to the image. Well, that's too big. Then I gotta come back up and do this. That's too small. You see the problem with this process? It's an easy to use process, but let me show you something a little better. Instead of doing that, how about I just hit the right bracket key or I hold it down to make it visually as big as I want it or the left bracket key. These are beside the letter P on your keyboard. That really quickly gets me to the brush size that I want. And notice my brush numbers are changing as I tap the left or right bracket key. Again, right makes it bigger, left makes it smaller. I'm gonna tap it to about right there. Burning midtones, 34%. Just make this little area a touch darker. Now that seems like a little heavy handed. I basically recreated the same problem. So I hit Command or Control Z, and then I'll come up and say, you know, maybe that should be more like 15%. Make my brush a little smaller and just do a nice soft pass right across there. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. That's how you can use dodging and burning to change the appearance of an image, making it look the way you want. Now for me, I feel like the colors are they too saturated? They could be. So let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer just to take a quick look. Here's zero saturation. Ah, look at that posterization. We still have noise, even though this has been corrected for noise already. And we don't want our eyes to bleed, right? So it's, it's gotta be some balance. You know, you figure out where your tastes lie. I'm gonna leave this one. I'm gonna leave this one here. Now, do I need an image that's as giant as this? Look how big this is, 136 megs. I do not, I don't need to waste my this is only going to be resized to a very small thing to put on the web. So I'm going to go to image, image size, and I'm going to say, yeah, that's ridiculous. Let's go to pixels. I know I need nothing larger really than full HD, and full HD is 1920 on the widest dimension. So I can just type in 1920. My file size went from 136 megs to 3.53 megs, which is perfect. I'm going to click OK. Now it looks super small. It's at 25%. If I hit Command 1, it is zoomed to 100%. So that's plenty for what I need for this project. Now I need to save it. Go to File, Save As. I'm going to Pano Small. Choose JPEG, sRGB. Click OK. Click OK. Now I've saved, saved a nice small version of this. When I click this X to close it, it says, wait, do you want to make all these changes you made? And if I click Save, it's going to save this smaller PSD file. And I don't, I don't need it. I'm, I'm done everything I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna click don't save. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is... Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome.
I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>